This is a demo for Font Styles Library, which, as the name implies, is a place for you to be able to keep track of various font styles. What is a font style? Well, when you have some type, um, you have various attributes of this font. So you have your fill, your size, your stroke, and your kerning, which are set here in the character palette. So let's just open this up here. So, for example, here I have uh, Helvetica Noi regular, and its uh, color is white. So, <clears throat> let's just make it red here quickly. So, now if I want to go ahead and save this, I want to go ahead and save the fill, the size, the stroke, and the kerning. So, let's uh, just uh, kern it out some more here so we can see. All right, so now we'll go ahead and hit save. And as you can see here, it just saved Helvetica Noi 83. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this text layer and just have a second one here. And this one will change the font to uh, impact. And we'll make the color like this, uh, I don't know, this green color here. And we'll um, make the kerning be zero. And we'll make it uh, a larger size. And so now we're going to go ahead and save that one. So you, now you can see here it's got impact saved. So, for example, just real quick, let's say I wanted to make this one this. So I just select that text layer and I go ahead and hit on the, um, by the way, I should just uh, change the, uh, the word here. So you can see that it's actually just applying the style. So if I want to bring this one back to be impact, I can just click, uh, sorry, Helvetica. I can just click on Helvetica and it applies all of these settings. Now, of course, um, you don't want to always save all of those things. So let's say, for example, uh, for, for this, I'm going to create now a third, third layer. And so for this one, I want to save all the attributes except for the fill and stroke. So I just turn off fill and stroke and we'll make it, uh, I don't know, we'll say we'll make it Gotham and we'll make it uh, some, I don't know, small, small here. And we'll just uh, kern it back in a little bit. Okay, so now when we go ahead and save that, we're only going to be saving the size, the kerning, and of course the font style. So as you can see, it's Gotham Light. So now when I apply this guy and I apply Gotham Light, it saved the color and the stroke, but it applied all of the other elements. But if I go ahead and and hit on the um, other ones that actually saved all of the attributes, you're going to get all of the attributes applied. Then, of course, here there's a little X, so you can just delete them by just clicking on the X, and that deletes them from the library, or you could just hit this button, and it just deletes them all from the library. Of course, you can't undo this, so just be careful that you want to do that. And this is going to be saved with your After Effects preferences. So whenever you open several projects, your library is going to be the same across all sessions. So that's Font Styles Library and hope you guys enjoy it.